Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Look at some truth coming up. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. This graphic, more truthful than the progressive caucus of the Democratic Party. They do nothing. They're liars. And we have a caucus. Ooh, we did it. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. So there's a new article about Jalene Maxwell. We know her. Um rat-faced pedophile sex trafficking monster girlfriend of jeffrey epstein who hung himself with a paper t-shirt and in the last month we've also had uh peter nygaard arrested who is a billionaire a canadian billionaire they literally call him the canadian epstein uh has same ties with prince andrew other celebrities um john of god another pedophile um has a creepy island, all the same similar stuff, right? And then Jean Luc Brunel was also recently arrested, which I'm glad they're being arrested. But in all of these stories, there's no bunk shots. There's a new story out about how the FBI, and I'm going to go into it in a second here, about how the FBI tracked down Jalee Maxwell. Oh, okay. This is the story revealed how the FBI tracked down Jalee Maxwell. It was January 4th, Monday. This was on uh, the Daily Beast. I, I, I pulled it off of Yahoo. But this is the photo. They always use this type of photo. Where is the mugshot? Where is the mugshot? I want to show you something. before I, We're going to talk about the FBI thing in a sec. Because there's some interesting information in the FBI and how she was running and hiding. But we haven't, and I've seen no mugshot of Jean Luc Brunel or Peter Nygaard or Jalene Maxwell. So let's just do this for a second. I just want to do this. Let's just share the screen and let's just do a web search together and see what we find. Right? Let's just see what we find together. Okay. So this is the story. We got it in Yahoo. There it is. How the FBI tracked down Jalene Maxwell. So let's just type this in. Jalene Maxwell. Mugshot. Mugshot 2020. There isn't one. These are all... If you're looking at this, these photos down here, they're all just past photos. Where's, and let's go to this, Yongo Tango. Where's Jalene Maxwell's mugshot? They're asking the same question because they just keep showing us this. There's no mugshot. Good afternoon. Welcome to Sky News Today. We start with breaking news and the FBI says that they have arrested the British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell on charges relating to the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. Uh, Maxwell, who has no mugshot. a very low profile since Epstein's death last August, was arrested in New Hampshire. Jeffrey Epstein was accused of raping and trafficking underage girls over nearly two decades. Uh, well, the charges that she has been charged with have just been revealed by the FBI. She's facing six indictments, conspiracy to entice minors to travel, to engage in illegal sex acts, and also enticing minors to travel, uh, conspiracy to transport minors with intent to engage in criminal sex acts and transporting minors, and two counts of perjury. Well, Sky's US correspondent Cordelia Lynch joins us now. Um, we knew that she had been... At they just talk about there's no mugshot. There's no mugshot. Yeah, and even when the 58-year-old British socialite appeared in a Manhattan federal court via today, and according to The Guardian, Jalene wore a brown top and, and appeared unsettled during her hearing. Why didn't we see that? While Jalene's brief appearance in court has documented multiple media outlets, social media users are growing increasingly suspicious of regard to her arrest. Where's her mugshot? Typically, mugshots are available to the public within 24 hours of the person's arrest and be accessed by a public database online 
Nearly two weeks after her initial arrest, there is no mugshot of Jalene Maxwell anywhere online. There's no mugshots of her anywhere. Everyone's asking this. Where is her mugshot? Her trial isn't until next July. Where's her mugshot? Let's do this. Jean, Luke, Brunel, mug, not lick, ah, come on. Jean Luke Brunel mugshot. Where's his mugshot? There's no mugshot for him. He was arrested December 17th. Where's the mugshot? Where's the mugshot? There's no mugshot. There's no mugshot. Peter Nygaard. Again, no mugshot. This shit again. A sketch drawing. This is the same crap they put with Jillian Maxwell. A sketch drawing. Where is his mugshot? They can't even send out anything? His bail was approved. As applied for bail two weeks after... No, wait, it wasn't approved. Excuse me. After his arrest in Winnipeg... The bail application was filed on Thursday and is to be heard in court at uh, 10 a.m. January 6th. Okay. No mugshot. No mugshot. No, just a sketch drawing. Just a sketch drawing. See, there's a sketch drawing. That's from December 31st. There's a sketch drawing. Where is his mugshot? OJ Simpson mugshot. There it is right there. OJ Simpson mugshot, celebrity mugshot. Okay. Huh. Michael Vick mugshot. Oh, Hey, there's his mugshot. When Michael Vick got arrested for Mugshot. Any other celebrities we should put in there? How come we can't find that? Jeffrey Epstein mugshot. We got this. This is when he was actually arrested. We saw this mugshot. Why didn't we see anything else? Inmate number. Why didn't, why? Okay, he got his mugshot. Why are none of the other ones? Why, why, why is there no mugshot? Where's his mugshot? Where's, so Jeffrey Epstein gets a mugshot, but Jalene Maxwell, Peter Nygaard, and Jean-Luc Brunel, no mugshots. Okay. Just something to think about. Let's go back to this FBI thing. Uh, Max will open a mobile account under the name GMAX and use it to communicate with phones belonging to her rumored husband, Scott Borgensen, and her sister, Isabel, one of her lawyers, lawyer manager of the document states. The revelation comes in an affidavit in support of an application for a search warrant filed by an FBI agent on July 1st, 2020, one day before Maxwell's arrest at a nearly 1 million secluded mansion in Bradford. Authorities previously obtained a search warrant in New York to receive GPS and historical cell site data for Maxwell's cell phone account, which had a northeastern Massachusetts area code. The FBI does not know Maxwell's current location and accordingly requires the information sought in this application in order to locate and arrest Maxwell, the affidavit states. The New Hampshire warrant allowed the FBI to use an investigative device or devices capable of broadcasting signals that will be be received by Maxwell's 
phone or receiving signals from nearby cellular devices, including Maxwell's device. The affidavit indicates Maxwell shared a joint bank account with Borgensen and that her Amazon account sent him multiple packages within approximately the last year. According to the document, the last communication between Maxwell's device and Borgensen's phone occurred in or around March 20th, March 2020. The accountants indicated Maxwell and her unidentified spouse had a net worth of approximately $22.5 million. Meanwhile, the memorandum in support of Maxwell's bail application said if Miss Maxwell were to violate her bail conditions, which she has no intention of doing, she would be leaving her spouse with virtually nothing. Oh. And she said it was hard in prison. Oh. Yeah. We can't find a mugshot of Jolene Maxwell, but we can find a wedding photo. There she is right there at Chelsea Clinton's wedding with her dad, former President Clinton. Huh. We can find those photos really quickly, but no mugshot. Here she is goofing around on Epstein's pedophile island with Jean Luke Brunel, also arrested for being a pedophile sex trafficking monster. This is sex trafficking pedophile monsters goofing off on a filthy pedophile island like a bunch of the maggot ridden soulless pieces of shit that they are. Where are the mugshots? Jeffrey Epstein got one and he hung himself with a paper t-shirt after a bunch of docs got unsealed. Remember I said they denied Jeffrey Epstein's bail. I said, oh man, he's, they're going to murder him in prison. That Friday, April 8th, I think they revealed, uh, released all these documents. April 9th, he, they was found dead. Have we even seen bodies of his dead body, photos of his dead body? Maybe there are out there. Maybe there are. I don't know. No mugshot for either one of these two. Arguably more powerful and more connected. Now, he was arrested in Paris last week or two weeks ago or something like that. Nygaard was arrested three weeks ago. She was arrested in July, but no mugshots. No paparazzi found them in the back of a car. No nothing. Oh, I know it's COVID. Is that the big excuse? So we're not taking mugshots because of COVID? You could do that from socially distance. You could have someone with a mask and gloves on snapping a photo. All right. So the FBI, that's how they found her phone. But no mugshot. I'll keep covering the story, folks. And you notice the corporate media isn't asking this question. They're not asking where the mugshots. They just keep bringing us up. Uh, they bring up some info about it, but it's always very framed. So we're not asking who are all these other powerful people. Why isn't Prince Andrew arrested? Why isn't Bill Clinton arrested? Why isn't Donald Trump arrested? Why isn't Hillary Clinton arrested? Why isn't Alan Dershowitz arrested? Why isn't Les Wexner arrested? So we'll keep asking these questions. We'll keep trying to find <laughs> who these are the, this is the ruling class, by the way, these are, the ruling class, these powerful, wealthy people who rape and sell children, and the media isn't even asking any real tough questions. Because there's more powerful people behind them. So you find me a mugshot, let me see it. Tag me on social media, love to see it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to know that these two are in custody along with Nygaard. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Support what we do so we can keep covering this stuff. Corporate media won't. We're doing it here. Thank you. Boom. Shave your knuckles for justice. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're unsubscribed. 
dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.